In fact, segment tonight, more than 50 Democratic House members will not show up for the inauguration on Friday. And now there's pressure being put upon folks not to even talk to President-elect Trump. As you may know, some famous African Americans have visited Mr. Trump here in New York City, and now they're being insulted. I love Steve Harvey and I have respect for Steve Harvey and I think his intentions were accurate or, in, or appropriate rather but but my disagreement is the way in which he's being used by folk like Donald Trump. You don't know what happened. First of all, Pastor Daryl Scott, Michael Cohen, they are in the process of bringing all types of people from all over the country, from all different backgrounds, like we have the, the member of the Diversity Coalition, where we reach out to all different yeah, types it, of people. It, it, it was Listen, a bunch of mediocre when, Negroes being dragged in front of TV as a photo op for Donald Trump's exploitative campaign against black people. Mediocre Negroes? That's pretty nasty, is it not? I think Dr. Hill owes Bob Johnson, the founder of BT. BET, Jim Brown, Martin Luther King III, and even Kanye West, an apology. Hill has no right to brand any American mediocre. Yesterday on his ESPN program, Stephen A. Smith said this. Has anyone thought about what impact it could have if Trump spoke to LeBron James? How about Steph Curry? How about Mike Tomlin, Tony Dungy, Chris Paul, Adam Jones of the Baltimore Orioles, or a host of conscientious sports figures connected to communities, committed to helping inner cities ascend from an abyss that has plagued us for decades? What then? Will they be sellouts too? Just for meeting with the man? For expressing their concerns? For articulating what ails these communities and providing ideas on how to resolve problems? The answer would be no, at least for anyone with sense. Joining us now from Bristol, Connecticut, is Stephen A. Smith. What do you think is behind Hill's attitude? Because he's not alone. Um, that if you associate with Donald Trump, if you even speak to the man, then you should be demonized. What do you think is behind that? Well, it's a level of disgust when you see uh, African Americans uh, go and see Donald Trump, and then they come out and they say, uh, Jim Brown, I'm in love with the man, or Steve Harvey. I love the man. They love what they're hearing from him, but what you have is still a residue of individuals that watch Donald Trump during the election and just will put off with what Juan Williams alluded to in your earlier segment, just, just some of the rhetoric that he was spewing, the discomfort that it ultimately provoked, and you're saying, let's not forget about that. It's one thing to meet with him. It's another thing to, uh, the, you know, depart from that meeting, swearing that suddenly you love the man when clearly that wasn't the case while he was running. But wait a minute, wait a minute, Stephen. So that's what wait, it was. Wait, wait, wait. Sure. Isn't it, isn't it uh, a hallmark of our republic and our freedoms that mm -hmm. we can have opinions, differing opinions, about individuals? Mm -hmm. So if sure. uh, Jim Brown, who I'm sure you respect, uh, comes Thanks out and says, I much. love Donald Trump, all right, why should we run him down for that opinion? It, you may not like Donald Trump, and that's fine. I mean, I don't have a problem <laughs> with that. But if somebody right. does say they like him, why, why call him a mediocre Negro? I mean, that's well, just well, vicious. Well, 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 Bill O'Reilly, sorry for me to get on you on your own show, sir, but that's a different kind of question. You asked me what, no, you know, I mean, what, what they said. No, but this is the follow-up question, I, Mr. Smith. The follow-up follow -up question the, is the, people have a right to form their judgments about individuals, and they shouldn't be uh, demonized for doing it. Well, I definitely agree with you from the standpoint that we don't need to be castigating individuals and talking down on them, like, you know, on many, many occasions. Uh, if you're an African-American and you side uh, with the GOP on any issue, you have a plethora of individuals from our community that are quick to kill, call you a sellout and, and, and a other words and other incendiary words. There's no excuse for that, and I'm certainly not about to make it. I know Mark Lamont Hill very, very well. We He's a friend. Him. You He's know highly that. intelligent we and accomplished. We made Hill. That, that, I mean, a, 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 Hill well, was nothing until I'm not, I, he was on this program, and well, he was the fastest talking individual well, I've ever seen in my life. But, <laughs> but we did, if he would have never said that on The Factor, he would have never right. said that. Go ahead. Well, listen, what I'm saying to you is this. He's highly accomplished, highly intelligent. I disagree with what he said. I disagree with, with how he, he termed things. I thought it was very insulting and very disrespectful uh, to individuals from our community who happened to meet with the president. More yeah. importantly, I don't think any of us who meet with the president, uh, the president-elect soon to be president, uh, should, should be castigated just be. for meeting with the man and talking to, to, the, to the man about be. things to improve because our community. If, if Donald Trump's sincere, if... He's if he's sincere and he wants to yep. help bring jobs to the inner city and okay. he's speaking to black people who have influence who might okay. be able to you know bring an open mind so that people would actually listen to the message that mr trump may have that's a good thing but here's something else 
I like Barack Obama as a person. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he did some very good kindnesses to my kids mm -hmm. and, and he, I like him. And when I mm -hmm. said that a couple of times on the show, I got mail. This is the whole the same thing that Hill did from the far right. Going, how could you how could you like that communist or whatever they but, like that? So it's not just Mark Lamont Hill and the crazy left. It's just crazy people in general. And I think you, people like you and me have to speak out against this and say enough, well, enough. But that but that hold on, let me interject, because that's what we're doing. And you have to understand and respect just like you're willing to acknowledge you like Bar President Barack Obama and you appreciate what he is as a man. You do have people, like you said, on the far right who hates everything about him. That's right. I recall asking some members of the right, excuse me, do you like the tie he wear? How about the color socks he was wearing today? I mean, damn, you complain about everything when it comes to him. That's not Bill O'Reilly, but Bill O'Reilly communicates with people every day who disseminate that kind of vitriol towards our president at the time. And so when you have a guy that is now the president-elect that during the campaign, and clearly he was campaigning and trying to garner votes and catering to a segment of our society to some degree that made African-Americans uncomfortable, it's something folks want every African-American to remember when they go and right. meet with this man. So even if you meet with them, all you don't depart things, from it saying, I love him. You can say I respect him, I'm going to listen to him, but love him? That's hey, a different Jim kind Brown of thing. You know Jim what I'm Brown wants to give Trump a little love, I got no problem yes. with that, all right? Okay. And I don't have any problem with Meryl Streep wanting to give President Obama a little love. I don't have any problem okay. with individual decisions, and I think that's the theme of the segment. It's always good but to talk Bill, to you, you Stephen, you, you and thank you for taking the time. You have had problems with individual decisions. You okay. know how you can be. Come on now. Come on now. I'm the sweetest guy. You're so misunderstood. <laughs> and you sure. Know it. That's your story. Stick you to it. Go ahead. know it. <laughs>